All right, guys, we've all been waiting for this. Look at all these nice heroes that we've already covered. There she is. Ominicidal Witch Thracer. This isn't actually much of a coverage since, well, her art all came out way earlier, but now she's formally, formally, well, Sharina formally knows of her. How does Sharina formally know of her? Because she's dead. Sharina has been spending the past week with Thracer's dead body trying to learn as much as she can from Thracer. How do we know Thracer's dead? Well, she's either captured or dead, given the last chapter of the story. Anyways, I've never just, I've just never ever been so attracted to Jelly until I seen Thracer. There's something about a woman, a woman's pelvis, literally the pelvis bone that you get to see because she's, because she's see-through. There's something attractive the, about it. It's always the slime girls. Always. Is it slime? Is it slime? Is it slime? I'd it's not actually slime, but I'd, I'd consider this a part of the family. I think, yeah, I think it's probably like translucent slime with some a lot rocks. I don't can't say the word anymore, but it probably has some resistance to it. I, I mean, come on, her tome's name's Eye Finger. I imagine if you stuck your finger inside of her, it'd just be like passing jello. It'd make a squishy noise. Yes. Anyways, at least we now know this is Veronica. I, you, you can actually quite see Veronica's influence on her. Well, influence is kind of a weird word, considering they're just supposed to be the same person, just of different timelines. Now, let me put my Veronica. I actually think Thracia is very, very pretty. And I also just really like crazy girls. And she's definitely crazy. But of the little story we've gone with her so far, she doesn't seem that crazy. It seems like with maturity and age, she lost the bloodlust and she can get along with Alphonse. That or everyone else is dead and she has no choice but to get, get along with Alphonse. It's actually kind of surprising that we didn't see this earlier. I, I mean, some people did, probably. The red eyes, the hair like that. The hair is just slightly longer. The red eyes, the nose, like the lips. You could definitely see, it, see them being the same character. It's just... This Thracer is just so much bigger. Veronica's a lolly and Thracer is just a grown ass jello woman. We can definitely see the we can definitely see how you get from one to the other. Especially the shoulder guards, huh? Anyways, she looks really good. Um nice form, but she's made of jelly. And I don't know, I've I've never been attracted to bones before. And now I am. Nice dirty cape. There's something there's something about girls with dirty capes. I didn't think it was a thing until Fjorm. Fjorm all that time ago. I guess one of the dirtiest capes I've ever seen. Gracia sure has the sure has, you know, the body. He's very, very Um He's not fat. We'll say that. Anyways, attack animation, giant ball of wind, her looking intense on it, the magic casting. Of course, now we know I finger or if finger, or I can't say it. It's her tome. Her tome is amazing. Effective against dragon got added in. It was not in her original weapon, but they added effective against dragon just to make it even more powerful. And of course, there's there's a null fault function. At least the opponents can't make a fault attack. And what else is there? Oh yeah, attack speed res plus four. Everything plus four essentially with when heroes are near it by uh, within three spaces, and then she inflicts attack speed res minus everything minus four to the ally within three spaces. That helps her trigger it. It's um this interesting function, interesting function, but it makes sense since she's supposed to be a witch and fits everything because the Omnisado witch is her name. Nice sturdy case. It sounds bad too, but then you realize that Dune exists. Yes, it sounds worse than it actually is, but there are characters that can utilize it. The only problem using a Dune is that if Dune's behind you and she's three spaces behind, good luck getting her into combat to actually use it. But it is possible. It's more useful for heroes with he Harsh Command Plus, I would say. I think that's that's where the key is. That's where you unlock the potential of her. And of course, if you run her with Duma, you have something interesting there too, because it's upheaval with... Um, 
she needs damage on her opponents to double before they can to attack twice before they can even attack. So yeah, upheaval with her is, is interesting as well. Anyways, you, it's kind of... I like when artists do this. It changes your expectations. You go from one entirely one pose to an entirely different pose. But you'll see why they did that and how they did that. But yeah, I really like this look on her. Very, very confident. She's no longer the, the crazy girl. You can see the confidence in her. It's no longer just pure madness. It's confidence in that she'll, she's going to beat your ass. Also, she has nice shoes and nice legs and and nice jello. Pretty sure it's probably one of my favorite looking characters in the game so far. She's very distinct. Do you think if she, do you think if she falls in a pool, she disintegrates? <laughs> I think I think there's like a casing around her that keeps her whatever whatever she's made of inside of her. Because you can see the glistening on on her legs and whatnot. There's a casing there. Or what? What if she like falls like from a great distance? You think she like flattens for a second, and then she yeah, I don't know what happens. To be honest, I don't think it's actually solid. I think it's I think it's just like energy encased, and that's how she's animate being animated. She's definitely dead. I don't want to hear any yeah. talk of Lif and Thracer being alive. They're definitely dead. Which also raises the question: Can we even kill her? Because couldn't Hell just re-raise her up as soon as we kill her? I think we probably captured her. But heroes don't get released into a pool unless they're dead, right? No. Uh, when it comes to OC yeah. characters, or until their role is ended in the story. I don't know. I think that's, I think that's a role. We can loot her. Yeah, that... yeah, yes. You can loot her. Get a spoon out and get, get it work. But I'm sure she tastes disgusting. Anyways, very cool looking. It's I love this pose. She's flying and she's floating, and you can see her cape just rising with the power. Her, her confidence as she casts her spell, like it's it's a great look. Now, as we said earlier, she had a different attack and special pose, but that's because of this. Because they reused her attack pose as her her, her art. I wish they did all different poses like Bantu. But this is a nice mix-up back in the day when she got first introduced. This isn't new art. This is the same art as before. We saw these, saw this months ago. It was down in mine months and months ago. Actually near, actually near the start of the book three. It's been a very long time. Anyways, this art is just really nice. Look at that. You can see, you can see her soul. No, you can see her uh, rib cage. You can see her knee. Drawing her must have been a lot of fun for the artists, because you gotta explore a lot of things you typically don't draw. Now, my question is... My question is... Is Thracer's boobs... Are they... Are they real? If she's made of jello, she could... She could make them as big as she wants. And we know how small Veronica, Veronica is. Now, Veronica's a kiddo, but... You think she's wanted to. Them? <laughs> what? Do you think she's overcompensating? I think she might be cheating because it just seems a bit too big. It's like nothing too too big, but it just seems too big for Veronica. She added a bunch of water to make it bigger. That's what I feel like because there's no bones and boobs, so she can make them as big as she wants. That's true. That's true. Anyways, in her hurt art, she has tiny blue, uh, tiny green balls. It looks like her magic's gone. I think it's a hint towards her actual magic and how it actually works, but we don't know anything because because face story doesn't say say very much. Anyways, no, nice really heels. Much. I imagine a lot of people want her to want Thracer to step on them. Omnisada Witch Thracer appears in Fire Emblem Heroes. The Realm of Dead, ruled by Hell, launched a sudden invasion in Asgar. Thracer was one of Hell's generals leading her army. He looks very thrilled with this. It also kind of looks like a ripoff of Batman. No, seriously, kind it of. Kind of looks like, yeah, a female Batman. Looks like maybe Samurai Batman. Do you think that Samurai Batman? Kind of reminds yeah. me of Batgirl in some 
universes where she's much, much older. I get. I guess it's the red hair versus white hair. And then, you know, before she becomes Oracle and all that stuff. Anyways, this yeah. is really interesting. Gracious Invasion uh, mission was to take the lives of the people of Asgard and bring their souls back to the realm of the dead. Oh, that's easy. Let Veronica do what she likes to do best. Kill people. Wow. The Order of Heroes soon found themselves facing her terrible power head on. Just got home from work. Please send help Nimal. No, this is what you sign up for. This is You didn't go to college, so you gotta work your ass off now. <laughs> yep. Welcome to the real world. This isn't as sexy as the as as her attack art, man. Come on. Look, she looks so yeah. hot here. But with these stubby legs, it just looks kinda <laughs> Those are meant to be cute. Not... Yeah, stubby legs. Thick girls are cute. I mean, I, I guess it's a bit cute. Her mask keeps her face hidden, but even her name alone leaves a lot to wonder about. She has the same name as the first Empress of Embla. Just who is she? Do you guys think Leaf and Thracer just got together and had a little talk? Like, how could we mislead people? Let's pick the first names of our ancestors. Hello, everyone, except Nim, who told me go to college and waste my money, lol. It's not a waste of money. Once you pick out what you want to do, it's not a waste of money. But I definitely think you need higher education. Unless you want to just climb corporate KFC. <laughs> Which, to be fair, is possible. It is possible. She's smirking. She's rather cute. A little when bit. She's, yeah, she's rather cute when her when she doesn't look like she's defensive. If only there were some way to win her over and get her to use her power for peace. I'm sure we'll find a way. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. He's not <laughs> dead. He's not <laughs> dead. Now it makes sense why she's a mythic hero. Mythic Damn. hero. Speaking of KFC, how did hooking up with Colonel Sanders go? We'll have to continue it tomorrow. I, I got a blood test in the morning, so I, I gotta just wrap this up. But yeah, that's a spoiler towards the story chat. You already know. He's not dead. He's captured, and she's the key to winning. Which is what I thought, because Veronica has made no sense of the story so far. She hasn't contributed much of anything. She supposedly helped us find stuff, right? But you could have easily put that on Anna. To be fair, Anna doesn't do much of anything, so you can put anything on Anna. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does make sense in the way that Veronica has magic, but it doesn't make much sense in other other ways. But if Veronica and Thracer were the key, it would make a lot more sense to bring in, because Thracer's Thracer in the story has done very little or nothing. She's like caught ambushes and whatnot, but she hasn't contributed to the story in any meaningful way. But if we captured her and we could persuade her, I mean, it would make more sense. Because again, we talked about this in the story. If Thracer and Leaf, they knew they were setting up an ambush, and Thracer was serious about beating them, wouldn't Leaf come along? Right? Wouldn't Leaf come along? Yeah, but I think so. yeah, she dismisses Leaf. Maybe she wanted to get captured, and I think that's part of the story. Anyways, close to the associated character's heir, Princess of Hell, the realm of the dead, dearly loves her mother, Hell, who rules it. She finds Hell's increasing merciless towards the living disgusting. She invaded Asgard alongside Thracer. How is this closely associated? This doesn't talk about their association at all. All they did was be on the same mission. Yes, they're on the same side. They're from Hell. Okay. That's not closely associated. Where's Leaf? God damn it. That's Man, the, where is Leaf? That's the only association for real. Damn. It doesn't say anything about their relationship until the very last moment. Invaded Asgard alongside Thracer. <laughs> Alright, chat. But that that's that's Thracer. I actually really like her art. I find her incredibly attractive, not just because I like Veronica, but because I'm now attracted to Jello. And my favorite color is red. And I like cherry jello. Or strawberry. That's that. <laughs>